Hello, this is Jordan. This video is being recorded on the afternoon of Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me today. And in this video, I am going to take a look at the potential next move in this bear market. Now, in past videos, I discussed uh, the six major cyclical bear markets over the last 90 to 100 years or so and how those have been part of secular bear markets and how um, we've been through seven or eight months or so. My last video was a month ago. So we've been through eight months uh, at that video and talking about how uh, this, the decline in the S&P 500 was following the template for those six mega bear markets. And so now we're one more month after that and uh, I'll, I'll assess where we are. And uh, this isn't going to be a long video, um, but uh, the next thing I want to look at, and here are the statistics. So the next key factor for me in this bear market, there are two things. Now, when did the market break that first important low? And then also, when did the market break the 40-month moving average? which as you know, breaking the 40 month moving average, that is the tell. If the market breaks it, it can't recapture it, it goes lower. That is the tell that you're in a new secular bear market. And so that's something we should look for um, over the next couple of months. And so in some of these bear markets, you know, it, the, it broke the first low, then the 40 month moving average. And then in the others, it actually broke the 40 month first and then the first low. Now the setup with where we are now, the S&P 500 is now roughly only 1% above the 40 month moving average. So, I mean, I'm presuming that it's going to break the 40 month moving average. And so breaking the first important low will come after that. And so in these, you know, typically in these mega bear markets, you have three phases. You have the decline first, then you have the bear market rally. Then you kind of have the water torture that goes on in the last phase, which I think in most cases is usually the longest phase. So um, again, not you know everything follows that perfectly, but we are following that setup. And so we're still, I mean, potentially in that second phase, although um, obviously, when you break the 40 month, you break that first important low, then clearly you're in that third phase. But we can see here, looking at those six mega bear markets, uh, you can see when it broke the 40 month moving average and then when it broke the first low. Now, when it first broke the 40 month, um, so we're n next week or a week from now, we will be nine months into this bear market. And if we're looking at an average month, or how long into the bear uh, does it break the 40 month moving average? The average is about nine months. So a week from now, we'll be exactly on the average. Now, if we're looking at the median, that would be, uh, let's see, about something between uh, 8.5 and 10 months. So, you know, nine and a half months or so, maybe a little bit longer. So we are in the window for the market to break below the 40 month. And, uh, um, so yes, we're in that window and, uh, the, no, now as far as breaking the first major low, you can see here three of the six, I have two dates. And the reason for that is, and this, so this happens in these bear markets where, um, if you look at the 40 month moving average, the market breaks below it. Um, or even with the first low, the market breaks below the first low, but then it rallies for a little while back, you know, back above it, or it battles with it for a couple months, and then it breaks below it again. So that's why there's two months here. So the setup that we could have, um, you know, coming up over the next month or so, and this is just one potential scenario, is the market breaks the 40 month moving average, and it declines. And you know maybe it bottoms, um, maybe it bottoms at the June low, or maybe the market even you know the June low was what thirty six hundreds, something like that. We're not that far above it, so maybe the market falls below it, uh, and then it you know it 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 could bounce for a couple months after that. Uh, you know, back up to the 40 month or whatever, battling with it. And then, you know, later in the year, at the end of the year, then it, you know, it tumbles down 
uh, to a lower low. So that is that is one potential scenario. In other words, a potential scenario is S and P five hundred breaks below the forty month, retests the low, and maybe it breaks the June low, but then it rallies a little bit, kind of in a bear market. You know, it's a bear market rally. It rallies for a month or two after that, so it it doesn't look like it's fully broken below that first low. So again, looking at twenty nine, the bear market nineteen twenty nine two thousand two thousand seven. That's what happened in those cases where it broke below the first low, but then it it had another rally or went back above it, or it, you know the breakdown wasn't really sustained, but eventually it was. So that's the point I'm trying to make here. But that's that's where we are. Uh, so it looks like the market at this point probably going to break below the 40 month moving average, and so if that's the case, then you know I'll do another video in the next two three weeks or the next month and reassess where we are. Uh, but last thing on this, so here's the chart. We have the S and P 500, you know, going back the last 60 years, I didn't really want to include, um, the night, you know, the 1930s, uh, because the gold price is fixed and, uh, the gold price went higher, you know, by government decree basically. Um, but we can see here, uh, what I am marking. So again, I have the S and P 500 at the top. I have gold below. These are weekly line charts and the two vertical lines that you see here, those are the exact points when the S and P 500 broke below the 40 month moving average. Now, um, the circles, you know, I circled all those things, but I also wanted to compare it to gold. You know, how, how did, how did the gold market perform around that time? What was happening when the S and P lost its 40 month moving average um in you know end of 1969 and uh, end of 2000 you know around that time uh because those were signals to me that's a technical signal that you're in a new secular bear market well what happened let's look at um you know first let's look at when that happened uh very beginning of 2001 it looks like i sorry i'm not zoom, zooming in <coughs> excuse me um, but we see that's very close to the time where gold had that bottom in early 2001. So it, it almost coincided. I mean, within a couple months, you could say it coincided perfectly. And, you know, looking at early 1970, I mean, I could have put in the gold stocks there, uh, but the gold stocks did bottom. Um, they did bottom, uh, if I recall, I think they bottomed 12 months after. So the gold, the, the gold stocks did bottom, I think, at the beginning of 1970. But, but you can see with gold, I mean, it basically did uh, bottom at the same time, although it wasn't really unleashed until 71. So very interesting. Uh, just the, the point I'm trying to make here is the stock market losing the 40-month moving average, that can coincide with a major, major bottom in the gold market. Obviously, time will, I mean, only time will tell, but uh, it's just something important to keep in mind. If we see uh, the stock market lose the 40-month moving average uh, in the coming weeks, um, because look, if that happens and the stock market goes lower, this idea that the Fed's going to hike rates to 4.5%, I mean, get GTFO, get the you-know-what out of here. That's not going to happen if the stock market is breaking down and you know uh, losing the 40 month and then possibly making a lower low. I mean, that happens, then they might not even not even hike in November if that happens. So, you know, and there you go. There's your big catalyst for gold. So I'm really intrigued to see what's going to happen over the next week or so. Let's see how gold can close the uh, end of the quarter, end of the month. Um, if it's going to have a false breakdown or not, but, uh, there you go. Um, you know, it looks like this bear market, uh, is on course for being, uh, one of the six worst and on course for being the start of a new secular bear market. And look, folks, I know that precious metals have been very difficult in the last six months, especially the last two years as well. But look, it looks like we're setting up here for a new secular bull market and you got to get positioned for that. Alrighty. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you guys again in the next video.